important bone of contention. We are now getting more breaking news. We just told you about how Congress MP Rajni Patil stands suspended from the upper house of the parliament. But we are now getting to understand that her suspension is going to be revoked. This decision has been taken by the Privilege Committee. And uh, however, if we take a look at the Aam Aadmi Party, there is still no relief for Sanjay Singh. This is what we are learning through top sources. So Rajni Patil's suspension will be revoked. However, Sanjay Singh stands suspended. As far as the Rajya Sabha is concerned, Michael E. Payal, who has got us all of those inputs, is joining us on the broadcast. Payal, some respite, although not exactly that for the opposition alliance. You know, as far as uh, Rajni Patil's suspension is concerned, the government also held a sympathetic view towards her given the fact that possibly she was, you know, pulled up for shooting a video within the uh, within the floor of the house. Mm -hmm. But you know, how that really happened and what really led to the situation, there was uh, at least some grounds for uh, giving her the benefit of doubt, and that's the reason the suspension has been revoked. Mm -hmm. That decision taken by the privilege committee today, which was of course uh, chaired by the Rajya Sabha chairman. And on the floor of the house, we saw two BJP MPs, that is Saroj Pandey and Rakesh Singh, move the resolution. It was accepted for the house, accepted by the house. It clearly meant that the part is suspension has been revoked. But as far as Sanjay Singh is concerned, Sanjay Singh, remember, has been suspended again this, step, uh, this session. Hmm. And this is possibly Sanjay Singh's fourth suspension in, in, in about four sessions as well. So there is no relief inside as far as Sanjay Singh is concerned. The sources are maintaining that he continues to be somebody who is a serial offender. So hmm. obviously that's a setback as far as the Amadi party is concerned, given the fact that every vote will matter for them. And with the Delhi bill coming up for discussion to end passage, it's important to important uh, to even lose that one vote that the Amar party would have liked to have on the first hour. But uh, Pyle, still with Rajni Patil's uh, suspension being revoked, the numbers will still stand at 99, while the halfway mark is 119. So do you see the bill sailing through in the upper house like it did in the Lok Sabha this time around as well? Yes, the Congress party uh, does not have the numbers, the opposition does not have the numbers. But yes, uh, the government has uh, substantial numbers. They have about hmm. 112 on their own, hmm. plus 9 BJD and plus 9 YSR and 1 GP. So that's where they really stand. Hmm. So as far as numbers are concerned, that's not really an issue as far as the opposition parties are uh, concerned in terms of being able to defeat that bill. Hmm. It's a simple majority and obviously the government is very confident that they will be able to get the bill through. Also, Pyle, we were learning that the opposition might just try to placate some of the members in the Rajya Sabha who were... Uh, you know, they were neutral as far as their stance for the Delhi Ordinance Bill is concerned. Uh, what is uh, it that you're learning vis-a-vis -vis that? Is there going to be any placation that will come about which might just throw in a surprise in the Rajya Sabha? Well, as far as the neutral parties are concerned, their uh, leaders have already expressed their stand, whether it is the YSR Congress or the BJP. Both of them have nine MPs each. Hmm. There are five MPs who are nominated MPs who have also expressed their stand. So as far as you know, getting a huge number in terms of that transformation, that looks pretty unlikely. Hmm. Uh, it will be important to see if the opposition even sits uh, through as far as uh, the passing of the bill is concerned. In the Lok Sabha, you saw them walk out of the house before the bill was being passed. Right. Apal, thank you so much for that. Let me now bring in my colleague Pallavi Ghosh, who is also joining us on the broadcast. Pallavi, uh, we do see some sort of a respite for the Congress with uh, Rajni Patil's suspension being revoked in Rajya Sabha. So there is going to be 98 plus 1 MPs as far as the Delhi Ordinance Bill that will be presented in the Rajya Sabha now, but still not enough for the bill to be stopped as far as the Rajya Sabha is concerned. Yes, I mean, if you remember in the triple talaq also, while there was a resistance coming in from most opposition parties, it wasn't too difficult for the government to get the triple talaq bill passed, despite the fact that in the Rajya Sabha you have the opposition parties which clearly have an upper hand. And that is because when it comes to unity or consensus or uniformity in a pattern of voting, that is something which we don't often see mm. inside the Rajya Sabha. So there are parties who are going to be voting along with the government for the bill, which is why it is likely to be a cakewalk for the government. In fact, in Lok Sabha also, many parties like the BRS and all of them, uh, not the BRS but other parties like the YSI and all did give their support to a Delhi Ordinance Bill and they are likely to do that. In fact, they will do that as far as the Rajya Sabha goes. So this is going to be yet another bill which is going to go into a government's kitty and at some point of time, the BJP will make this point that, you know, you may talk about opposition unity, there may be an India Front Alliance, but when it comes to winning over new friends, yes. uh, the opposition unity concept may not always be so successful. Right. Pallavi, thank you so much for joining us with all the latest that you're picking up and tracking on this story. Remember, Rajni Patil's suspension stands revoked. However, Aam Aadmi Party's Sanjay Singh still stands suspended from the Rajya Sabha. We're taking a very